Sebentar. Kita on teman tak? Listen. So topik teman subong is about the internet and the world wide web. Kita on cah? Confirm. Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. So atonya outline teman. Teman ni explain the origin of the internet, how it works. May difference ang atong world web and the internet which will also tackle it as well as the major features nila how to connect basic naman ni Guru then how we describe the browser and identify its features and how to use it and at the same time we also have other internet features that we will be describing so manatan yung vocabulary Iba ni familiar na kamo ni Guru but medyo may specific terms na tanga gamiton. Yung mga address bar, browser, domain name na mga given naman yung mga homepage. But uh, having also host computer no? nodes, hyperlink, hyperlinking using the HTML or the hypertext markup language. Also the hypertext transfer protocol or the HTTP. The internet service provider, ang aton may mga globe na, mga mano sila. Online service provider, protocol, the TCP IP or the transmission control protocol, or the internet protocol for short, and the URL, the uniform resource locator. And we also have uh, the term web 2.0, the web web course and web page. So, the internet has evolved. Bale, kung mataki na to about sa network, so no? The uh, ARPANET, the development of the ARPANET in the 1960s by the United States of Defense. So it has uh, developed in the next 30 years, wherein the email fu function was added, and more than about uh, 100,000 computers connected to the ARPANET. And it became the World Wide Web in 1992, and also the first uh, graphical browser, not uh, we call it the Mosaic Browser in 1993 so it also made an impact in society up to now and one of the relevant impact na yun, from 70% of all Americans that uses the internet in 2007 siguro subong most uh, tanah na siguro sila tulagamit and also the same with us na sa Philippines and other countries na lang that are connected to the internet so basically, I define the mantra kagina no, about the linking of networks. We call it the international network. Uh, shortcut yana is the internet. So it links networks and computers across the world. And we use the term interoperability. So it will ability to make the models of computers able to communicate with each other to this uh, international network. So we use the TCP IP or the Transmission Control Protocol as a standard program for transmitting data. And also we use the domain name as an identity term to identify a site on the internet. So uh, World Wide Web is given as a subset in applications that make use of the internet. And in 1990, was introduced uh, the HTTP you know, or the Hypertext Transfer Protocol which allow computers to communicate with hypertext documents. Then these hypertext documents are developed using this uh, hypertext uh, markup language which is the basic format of web pages. So this is our first Mosaic Browser, no? 1983 pag introduce ni sa public nagdamo nag it increased the internet uh, usage dramatically after having this uh, mosaic as the first graphical browser and uh, defining the web protocol so is an example na sa dalom it defines how pages are transmitted 
to uh, a computer to be in, your in between computers so we call it as a web page address for the URL so it's formal uh, formal term yeah, is uniform resource locator and ang web page address ang ato ni nga common term so in this format the first part of the address is the HTTP I'm going to example na bit HTTP but today we use HTTPS because that is the uh, secure the version of the hypertext uh, transfer protocol and the second part also identifies the domain name so this is the domain name uh, in this example in the above this is monumag.com uh, the example the name is google so ang um, extension identifier is com which is short for commercial we also have other uh, ex extension like like edu for education dot uh, org for organization dot gov for government mga mana. so we use it as a extension identifier sa aton nga domain name but on the back part this is the domain address no but what when you uh, open sa isa ka isa ka website sa ila isang pag sa web hosting a website they use uh, IP address lang IP address of that specific uh, host uh, website to to identify your website so basically after mo sina magbaka sa web host sa imo nga uh, hosting plan mo you, you also buy the domain name to custom nga imo nga lang sa imo nga brand or company mo then so we use the web protocol no to how pages are formatted and displayed to users so an hypertext is a text best link to other documents and we use it a link or hyperlink that is our general term then we have a web page as a text page coded with an html markup tags so given to the uh, coding uh, this is the um, core you get, no? which we use html to code a web page but today most uh, platforms na ginya for online web web page creation uses a uh, 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 user interface friendly uh, platforms like uh, for example word may the same na silang identity sing isa ka word sa identifying sang aton nga uh, uh, identifying in also creating our web page I uh, will dis uh, discuss ko na later on kung mag uh, <coughs> ma demo na ko ni isang isa ka parts ng isang blog. Okay, so when uh, access the internet, we have the basic uh, steps na. No? But sa ato, so bong is uh, you can just basically access them using uh, our modem. So pag connect mo sa modem or kung mag mag new connection ka ba for example sa inyo balay na ang, ang ISP nyo ng provider nyo mamuna sa mag set up sang connection but later on you'll just connect it through basic lang no just log in to the to your account and then press connect but the core steps here is having uh, simply lang no, no local array uh, network this is connected to your uh, limited geographical area but you use uh, a modem or or a direct cable to the network to be able to access the internet so we use the network interface card amon pa rin sa aton yung mga <coughs> basic addition naman kung baka ka sa isa ka system unit or computer via cable or wifi tapos sa muna na yun maka, maka ano ka na maka connect ka na by either using the ISP in order internet service provider or the OSP or the WISP or the wireless internet service provider so mostly ibang ga install na software beforehand or your access a browser no access a browser na uh, uh, specific uh, browser ba specific address na gets nila na provider example this for, for PLDT you access the the specific IP nga makalog in ka sa admin sang inyo na connection and then you provide your account details na ilag in mo and, and then you press the connect button so after connecting the software usually you install browser like chrome 
but uh, most uh, OS Obon has uh, an element bus browser included like uh, sa bag OS Obon is uh, MS ano na ang edge na subong before Internet Explorer na ginagamit but then depende man sa mo kung may kung may preferred yung browser na mas uh, favorable nga mag makagamit ka or sa output mo nga mas uh, maging productive ka so you use that uh, browser to download that uh, specific browser that you want so by definition naman yung ato nga browser uh, software program that we use to retrieve documents to, or to access and display pages and files from the web so these are the five commonly used uh, browsers in the current no? from IE necessarily na replace na ni Subong Sang Edge and we have uh, Safari browser no? this is Chrome, Amazon Opera and Firefox uh, what I usually use so for comparison mga akong Chrome with then then followed by Firefox but before some early on some mga some mga web development page ko pa uh, I use uh, at least uh, four for this so I can compare nga uh, makompare mag ng output bisa isa ko website on how it will look like sa amani nga mga browser uh, depende na is is usually you would compare a uh, client browser no if usually most clients based on sa sagwa is uh, using uh, internet explorer okay they, they, they usually don't know how to install these other uh, browsers no? so you would also adjust the the programs or the website that you want me to see from their end so using ie no? so amon aton nga one of the client reference get from the client and now that you can check on how the, your specific web page will look like but usually this uh, these two uh, chrome and, and firefox are usually fixed now in terms of uh, coding na sang specific uh, nga website or web page nga ang ila function is uh, ma minimal ma minimize na gid ang uh, error so I in at sa basic na I in a window uh, <coughs> we should also identify some terms no mo naming at ang mga terms mga mga, mga title back forward in but uh, no go familiar na mga money we'll just define them how uh, no gani lang purpose git sa isa ka browser and at the same time uh, the same man isla nga function sa other nga browsers nga na mention to rin so mga nyo terms no, mga menu, file edit tools, command bar, mga options da yun nga home, tools, research, mga autocomplete, uh, mga nyo mga address list, so address list na ton, previously visit web, web pages, uh, autocomplete, uh, keeps track of the web addresses no, usually when you type in a, a previous na, na browse mga website, the browser will automatically identify that uh, specific website that you have visited so that you, so you just usually don't need to type the whole uh, domain name and just uh, type the initial no? so example kung google just usually type go tumagawa na lang google na uh, google.com na website and you, and you just uh, po, uh, tumukaw mo lang enter da yun para nga maka-open mo ng website in the same way as uh, we use this uh, tools no, for for our browsing and uh, browsing functions and home page is basically a first page that is displayed when you start your browser there is a, a setting in browser now you can specify a specific uh, page to be used as your home page but also there are uh, options also that uh, for example, you would want to save your previously browsed na tab so aralan na siya. Ang option sana is continue where you left off. Do you solely mo nang win open uh, the browser again? You can check the settings nga it will continue to open the the batch of tabs that you have uh, used in your previous session. But usually, and by default, is the home page is uh, example kung sa Chrome, Google.com ay lang na default. 
kung sa Firefox naman, they either ang news page or ang ilang uh, website nila sa Firefox. So, when we say naman auto search, by uh, muntang kalina yung mention ko, no? by typing the common term in the address bar, they would, uh, the browser will automatically suggest the terms that you would uh, want. But usually they use uh, an algorithm that to know the the uh, term to suggest depending on your you know, previous mga browsing sessions. And also we use history, history button to see a list of sites you visited in the past. In the past. And uh, usually we save it as a bookmark naman kay do pa rin matang kagina nga ang auto type siya. The history button also uh, uh, displays a similar function. But uh, continue this default ni siya. But uh, you can also change the settings naman niya. You can go past via the 20 days na na history wherein you can see the previous sites that you have visited. So the same way with bookmarks, no? Uh, favorites ang amon yung ilang ang term before it's a uh, IE. But sa subong, they use uh, the term bookmarks. They use, uh, use this uh, function to allow you to designate a page as the one that you'd want to visit again. So, managin na bookmark mong isa site for later use. And we have content browser, no? Save browsing, tawag natin. May ara ni silang uh, functionality. Example, pareho sa bang example, kung ma-check based on browser nga ara sa sa list sa mga possible phishing sites or mga possible hack nga site. Ma-post ma sa warning, ma-display na sa warning siya mo. If you should continue, but they usually would advise uh, users nga i-close na tong browser or ay close na mo nga site or to use the back button to ano na, at, uh, turn back from the, ano, the possible phishing or hacking your website so having a discussion you know, so usually the same auto auto suggesting the the browser keeps a record of the site visited uh, but this uh, discussion function is uh, usually more on the offline on the offline side sa kay uh, or it will store what uh, whatever content that at uh, at that session nga pag browse mo sa website pero at the same time uh, after for example nag, nag disconnect ka na, but you'd want to visit the uh, site again may discuss information na siya nga i-display para sa si mo pero as nga kung dynamic na gid ang amo nga website for example ang discuss as long as you connected uh, no, automatically ga uh, update na siya but it is more of uh, no minimal na gid siya pay and your purpose gid is to keep this record so that kung mag-visit ka naman sa motama website it will just uh, automatically uh, load the uh, mga default na mga information or default na data na na store niya so copy paste information or waves or um, uh, basic basically it's just let's say copying or saving uh, Word or Excel document. So, a money saving web page simply man, you could use Control S or File Save As. It will now display the saved web page uh, dialog box. So, this is the basic dialog box. Nila, no? uh, you can see in the left, ang mga links, favorite links, then the folders. Then, as you click on the left, ma display this ang list of folders. Uh, right. So, sa mga example, download. So, downloads folder siya. And then you type the file name. So the default file name is the title page. Uh, that means the title of the uh, web page. So you can change it sa imong gusto. Then save the type as uh, web page complete. By, by that HTML ni yung uh, file extension. Then you click save. So mana yung sali basic na nila or para for easy for easy uh, loading git some info no wherein you can also access it uh, even if you are offline so you basically just browse the page control s uh, control s ang function sa keyboard para mag save para mag open sang save web page nga dialog box so the same time download man no so download a means transfer from the web server to 
from another computer on the uh, internet to, uh, to your computer so saving and loading are basically similar terms in that one okay so the other internet features that we have are for this no for palang so our blog is a web blogging so blog for short it's a web page that serves as a publicly addressable accessible journal do amo ni ato nga do public you know so before you can have it as a list of articles no, or or pd man nga personal journal mo for example with all sort of uh, an online diary so at the same function as subong gini mo ina ni subong uh, iba na do ano for commercial nga testimonials or you can you say you would write about uh, mga travel nila mga products or any restaurant bina visit nila you can also post them on your blog or well, later on i may nang record ng totong uh, uh, video about how uh, how uh, current blog na feature kung iyang function na uh, makita sa buong sa aton nga kung how aton na magamit sa aton nga as, ano, as a personal nga journal or basically for anything that you would want as a page na you can write articles so we have also have chat room no? the chat room is uh, real time chat with another user or group of users so aton sa buong facebook messengers this is a uh, a basic example of a uh, chat room so subong hindi na not only that we use chat room from the pc or laptop but also from our mobile phones as well using uh, the app uh, versions Then for the email, the shortcut is the shortcut term for the electronic mail. It's also the most basic popular services of having the internet. So we use emails to communicate, but actually we have uh, features that uh, having uh, uh, having attached mga files, mga other nga mga protocols or links na pwede natin sa aton email. And we also have the file transfer protocol, internet standard for uploading and uh, downloading files. That is the FTP naton. Uh, the we also we can also use softwares like uh, FileZilla to uh, upload files. But I uh, usually use this from uh, example from my clients, and uh, we we access the the back end of a website. Then we use. Uh, FTP you can use FTP function to browse to browse to that uh, file para nga um, uh, example kung may changes ka mo kailangan nang sa website or you, you would want to add a plugin or a feature from the current website then you use uh, uh, FTP to access its backend and to upload your needed files then it's on messaging communication in real time with online friends the same as a Facebook Messenger. Uh, I think inside messaging usually, I don't know, one on one or a group of persons. But sa chat room usually, uh, kung chat room ta, the same no, though Facebook chat man sang, uh, example, we'll, we'll have a group of pe people, but can also, this, may the same uh, group of people lang, hindi uh, mo sila friends or mga colleagues mo sila or any other uh, associates. Then we also have a mailing list. So mailing list of group of people with shared interest. Wherein uh, we also have this nga kung mailing list ka sa ano na uh, for example sa inyo company blog or sa company website nyo they can have it a uh, function there nga kung mag, gusto nila mag uh, add uh, their names sa ilang mailing list for more information or shared interest nila they can just input their email and the name there on that mailing list so later on pwede sila ka padala sila sa information or news para sa from from your company to to your you know, customers or for this group of people with shared interest with your service or company and then we have the news group as a discussion forum a bulletin board for the delicate topic uh, before we have forums, no, mga, actually, yung guru, ara pa man subang mga forum na mga accessible naton, but FB groups na subang nga do also, nagid, 
Facebook group and also we also have Reddit threads or mga other nga mga naging ano na naging popular nga fo- discussion forum na to nga mga websites nga available na to sa our access to and online conferencing para yung sa buong Google Meet is our example of online conferencing virtual meetings so the way you know, using internet connection instead of telephone line we use it to call other other people for for best listening example is uh, uh, so sa messenger makita mo na may call function yun na so this this that is one example na nagka voice over IP ka na nga calling uh, using the call function via the internet connection so to summarize these are the terms na na discuss natin din no? uh, no one person or organization can claim credit for creating the internet but it basically trace the origin na sa, ano, no, sa US Department of Defense but they cannot uh, specifically claim that they are the person or organization that created it. So, the th- additional uh, name na is ARPANET, then developed na as Mosaic as the first graphical interface, and the connection na no? by a connection by a local area network and internet uh, network interface card, or we use this card for uh, Wi-Fi connection to our school or business or other organization and then the types of internet connections that we have identified some more than that and then this well, the telephone line and more than the DSL cable wireless and in fiber optics for example like ng mga fiber ng mga in offers among sa natin niya mga sikat natin yung service providers and Connecting to internet is telecommunication software and browser for the connection. So again, the interoperability or brands and models that makes the computers can communicate with each other and we use as protocol as a standard format for transferring data between devices. And we call this the TCP IP, you know, the, the transmission control protocol or the internet protocol as our agreed upon international standard for transmitting data. Okay, that's the wrap, wrap up for uh, for this uh, topic lang eh. uh, well, sh- I will show karon ng sa blogging parts naman. So, any questions so far? Or anything uh, ma share niyo? Okay, pumangamaw. Yes, 